What's going on everyone? It's Gia here representing Gia's World and I'm in downtown Flint, Michigan right now for Occupy Flint demonstration. Um, everybody's going to be wearing black t-shirts because we are fed up with fixing the situation with the Flint water crisis. Uh, we are totally against the tax liens that are being imposed by the state of Michigan against Flint residents who haven't paid their water bills or have an outstanding balance on their water bills. We're fed up with the slow process with replacing and fixing damaged pipes. We are fed up with the state of Michigan basically saying that they will close the um, the water resource centers that allow residents to pick up filters and pick up water bottles and cases. This is an, this is a travesty and everyone has every right to be upset. Water is a human right. Uh, Many Wachoni, water is life. And this situation needs to be rectified. Rick Snyder needs to pay for what he has done to the citizens of Flint and the citizens of this state. So we are here and I will be showing you guys footage of the uh, demonstration. elected official who will meet us and from there uh, they may address us and then we have two more stops community foundation the letter to the city is a demand and to let everybody know the demand we're just simply demanding uh, for the water to continue until the crisis is over yeah. I think that's fair yeah. we're demanding that uh, we not pay for a poison water yeah. I tell you, if we gotta pay for sewer, that's fine. Yep. But why, but we shouldn't have to pay for water that they say we can't use. Right? Exactly. Makes sense. And then to have. You have to applaud yourself for this. Yes. And we will continue to fight. If we don't know that we have true representation fighting for us, we'll fight for us. Yes. Exactly. We'll fight for us. The people will fight. And that's what we have to do. We we will uh, at this point we're getting ready to go to Ruth Mott, uh, delivering the letter. Same 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 thing. And uh, our letter to them is to let them know. Uh, what have you done? And if you can meet with the people at some point in time, let us know what have you done to assist in this process. Headed to Ruth yes. Mott, downtown Flint. Yeah. Simple. All right. uh, That's it. Pastor, I have a question. You had mentioned to Mr. Jones that you uh, spoke with the mayor yesterday. Could you? Not yesterday, sir. Okay. Uh, but I did get an opportunity to speak with the mayor on this uh, to let her know the concerns that I've heard. And so this is not. This is not new, let me say it like that. Um, we didn't just decide to do this march or this 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 uh, constitutional protest. We didn't just decide that. I met with her first. Uh, so, what was her response to you? Beg your pardon? What was her response to you? Uh, and her response, it was some um, of, uh, she knew um, the, the, the concerns and her being a resident of the city of Flint. I was hoping she was here today so she can address the people. Uh, and so that way she can speak on her behalf. But it was just simply saying that um, I know, but that's not that's not enough because everybody know 
We just want to know who's really doing something about it. Do you think it's, do you think it's intentional that she's not here, knowing that you guys, yes. that she, you said you guys had a meeting and she knew this was going to happen? Do you think her not being here today was intentional so she wouldn't have to confront the, um, the residents of Clinton? You know, for me, I, I would hope it's not intentional. I really would. I would hope that um, there's this pre pressing uh, business that she had. I, I don't want to dictate her, her schedule why. because I don't know it. Um, but I would hope uh, that anybody with decency would know that they could stand together for a cause like this. We're, we're not we're not fighting for something that's that you know we don't deserve. We're just fighting for clean water and to keep the water going until the prices go. And, and so this is this is something that's that anybody should fight for or fight with us for. Simple. So again, uh, civil obedience is where we're at. We're going to be ready to go to Ruzmat, deliver a letter to them. Actually, the doctors say are associated with the lead. We know from science the full effects of lead don't show up for at least a decade. Uh, and right now, uh, there, there's uh, pretty decent medical medical coverage for if you're six years and under. But there's a huge gap for those older. Uh, not that six years and under shouldn't be taken care of, but all people should be taken care of. And by the way, there's been other communities yeah. in America that have been victims of uh, uh, government or man-made uh, environmental yeah. or water catastrophes, and they this have gotten what we mean by no transparency, no. including Montana which I just learned yesterday. Uh, Libby, Montana, Google that. They got Medicare for All as part of the Affordable Care Act. So these people aren't asking for you to deliver them gourmet water. Yeah. They want clean water. So look around. What do we want? Clean water. What do we want it now? now. What do we want? Clean water. Education is everything. 
We have to educate ourselves. I, I'm frustrated just like you. That's why we're out here. But we cannot, we cannot close our minds to becoming educated about it. And we want to hold those in elected positions accountable. I would love to march or go to Lansing and protest against Governor Snyder along with the mayor and the city officials. That's right. That's right. But I refuse but to go to, go to Lansing and I don't even know what they're doing on this level. So if we go, we going with them as they as they represent us, we let them know we got your back and represent us. But first of all, we need to know that you're doing everything possible to represent us. You notice in the demands, it didn't say for the mayor to you gotta fix these pipes. That's not that's not her fight. That's state. But there are some things we know that need to be done on this level that we want to hold our officials accountable for. So that's what you keep looking. This is only probably a small portion of what we, what we plan on galvanizing. We plan on getting at least a thousand strong. But we got to show that, yes, we know to do things decent in order, but it will not stop us from demanding our rights. Right. Applaud yourself. You did an awesome right. job. Right. Trust me, that's passion, which you got. Yeah. And we're grateful for it. There was a young, this young fella here. Can, can, can he come over here? This young fella here, how old are you, sir? Four years old. Four years old. He say, I don't want to drink no dirty water. Amen. At four years old. So that lets you know our children are suffering. We got to take a stand. We have to take a stand for not only our sakes, our elders' sake, certainly for our children's sake. I want to know if we got another testimony for some, from somebody that's out here. I want to hear, like, when you came up there and, and we heard a lot of you trying to go in there. Well, basically, uh, I moved here back. I, I'm from Florida. My family was born and raised. I, grew up here. I bought land here and everything. So I've been trying to, like, come back every once in a while, trying to buy some little bit of something, trying to help the community do something I can every time I come back. But I leave. This time when I came here, I was working for the city in Tennessee. So I had a physical before I came and everything. So long story short, I came here. Um, one night New Year's Eve, I was like, you know what, it's the middle of the night, one glass of water is not going to hurt. 2015, it, it, before there was even anybody talking about it on the news, before they had marches or anything, I didn't even know nothing about it. So, I drank one glass of water, the next day I took my son to school, it was like my tongue, I couldn't swallow, I was eating halo burger, I couldn't even swallow a burger, I'm like, what's going on? So, I started feeling like I couldn't breathe, I went to the hospital. They was like, well, I don't know, it's nothing. They try to deny it, you know, they send you off, they act like they ain't, they ain't care about us or whatever. So I was like, dang, uh, they say there's something going on with the water. I drank a glass of water and I haven't eaten anything. Um, yesterday I didn't really eat anything abnormal. I don't eat this pork, I'm kind of eating kind of a different lifestyle. So they're like, well, I don't know, I drink the water all the time, whatever, whatever, trying to just basically brush me off. So a couple days later, my tongue swelled up to where it was like, I couldn't even like close my mouth almost. I had to have a surgery on my tongue one time, that, that didn't work. It still kept on going, you know, uh, they, and then it happened, I had to have a second surgery like three or four months later on my tongue. Where I couldn't taste my tongue, I couldn't taste the anything for like six months. I got friends and family who know, I actually met my son mama because she had to bring me soup because I couldn't even swallow anything because it hurt so bad. Um, and then, like, I don't know after that, I, I kept on asking questions about the water, you know, and then they started talking about it, but they kept on denying it. Every time I went to the hospital, I had a, I had a specialist, uh, uh, ear, nose, ear, nose, and throat specialist look at my mouth and look at my tongue and stuff to make sure that I can even still have the same functions that I used to have because they took, they had to take out some of my saliva gland because it was whatever in the water, the blockage in the water. And it wasn't, see, people keep thinking that it was just the lead. It wasn't the lead. Before they had lead introduced into the water, people don't know that it was, it was notices going on. And I seen this notice with my own eyes that in January 2015, around that time, they had notices about too much chemicals in the water. So sometimes a lot of us got messed up by the chemicals that they were trying to salute and trying to hide it by putting extra stuff in the water. That's how I got messed up. People feel just the lead. No, it ain't just lead they trying to kill us with. It's all kind of chlorine and all kind of toxins and stuff they got in the water. I keep seeing stuff. I don't know if that's stuff true. Chases the HIV and all that. I don't know if that's, that's the garbage problem. But I do know that it was something in that water that day that left my tongue up. So then I had to have surgery and my tongue still ain't good. Like sometimes it swells up sometimes. Just like now when I'm dehydrated, my tongue swells real bad when I can't really talk. Um, or I can't speak, should I say. Um, 
And then my son, I had a, I got a one year old son who's still in the, who never seen clean water. He got sores and stuff. He break out rashes. I had to, we had to give him a bath. I mean, we don't got enough bottled water. And then they don't need, they like to deliver water to your house if you don't have a car. My car broke down, so it cost so much. I'm like, dang, can y'all at least deliver water to my house? I got kids. And they're like, no, we don't care about none of that. They don't care about none of that. That's the problem. I'm saying, like, it's only. They claim they have another. Well, and let, and let me say this.